Hello from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to provide a weather briefing on our next storm system uh, set to arrive from the north here Wednesday through Thursday. Taking a look at the upper levels, the storm's going to be coming in from the north. The colder colors here are colder air aloft. And that's diving down from the Pacific Northwest and you can see into Southern California Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, these colder colors move east and that means a warming trend late in the week. But it's a storm from the north that we're going to be dealing with here Wednesday through Thursday. Taking a look at the forecast along with the potential impacts. The table at the bottom is our threat matrix. You can see the primary impact with this storm is the snowfall potential. We think that impacts greatest on Thursday. Shower coverage increases Wednesday, especially Thursday and Thursday evening, as that cold air arrives from the north along with some moisture. Now, precipitation with this next storm will be much less than a recent storm, but it could have potentially greater impact and that's because that cold air coming in from the north will lower snow levels and we do expect a threat of snow all the way down to our major mountain pass levels and that includes the Cajon Pass, I-15, and through the San Diego County Mountains along I-8. So we're watching out for that possibility. And for the lowlands west of the mountains, it's just hit and miss shower variety with the main impact being uh, rain slick roads periodically. Here's a look at the total rainfall precipitation we're forecasting Wednesday through Thursday with this storm. And you can see it's generally light amounts west of the mountains, about a tenth quarter inch max. Uh, mountains will receive some more precipitation. How much is quite uncertain, but we do think a quarter and locally half an inch liquid precip as possible. And a lot of that falling as snow in the mountains as the snow level lowers to about 3,500 feet. So let's look at how much snow is possible. Uh, several inches are possible, especially at higher elevations in the San Bernardinos. Right now, accumulations look light at lower elevations such as Big Bear, Wrightwood, Idlewild. But take a look, we do paint snow potential through the mountain passes I-15 and I-8. So it's going to be a light snow and that could but have impact because of the cold air moving in and the low snow levels. So greatest potential impact does look to be Thursday. Those snow showers could begin on Wednesday. Well, we've been dealing with a very cool and wet March and the precipitation is uh, much needed, so we're thankful for that. But the pattern is changing. Here's a look at the weather pattern into the first week of April. Conditions really change. You can see it looks like we're going to be warming with temperatures probabilities greater than normal here across the southwest. And indications are that we will have a drying trend starting Friday, and that continues through at least into the first week of April. So it's looking warmer and drier behind this next storm system. So in summary, showers arrive Wednesday, continue an increase in coverage Thursday through Thursday evening, more of the hit and miss variety, not a widespread rainfall. So amounts will be much less than a recent storm but snow levels fall and could impact our major mountain passes. So we're watching out for that possibility. Stay tuned for the latest updates, as always, on our webpage at weather.gov slash San Diego and on Twitter at NWS San Diego. We'll keep you updated. Have a great one.